Here is the third round of the Evazon KT1 tournament, and um, I'm just ready to go right about now. It's versus this one from MIBR, J-A-E-O-3. And uh, yeah, it's best of three, so first to two wins. Alrighty. And I already knew he had a big roster because I looked at his profile and it was 15.910 prestige, which is always um, a little bit formidable in some ways. So kind of debating bans, um, I realized that I-Bomb was a pretty brain-dead ban in terms of why would I want to do that? And so yeah, I also drop Quicksilver and I end up, I believe, banning Scorpion. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. So he bans my four, my, my, not my four star, my five star Tigra, uh, which I kind of got a kick out of. I did not expect that at all. Um, and bans CGR, so I presume he just doesn't have one. I take two very versatile attackers. Was considering taking Doom there, but ended up deciding not to. Here he's going to pick Quicksilver and Nick. Probably maybe get Gar Guardian, but there's not really someone to Guardian right now. Okay, he does grab Guardian. Um... Hulkling for defense and also for offense, and then probably Ultron, because Ultron can take uh, Nick Fury if I have to, and he's also versatile for something like Bishop, as you'll see here. So, absolutely love my Ultron. He has Omega Sentinel. On defense, I have a couple options for that. Massacre would go crazy. Um, Torch and, and even Hulkling. So, lots of options for that one if he chooses the place for on defense. Um... Here, I think I go... Do I go Doom and, and Man-Thing? Um, Man-Thing will kind of get killed by Omega Sentinel, but not that fast. <clears throat> uh, I could also go Starkey for Guardian and all that stuff, but... I am going for the double defenders because I didn't necessarily love the lack of defenders that I had. Um, here, I have to assume... He, he does go Thing, right? Um, I'm not sure if he does, but he should have if he doesn't. Um... And, uh, I mean, Archangel for Doom, obviously. Yeah, so he doesn't go Thing. That's super weird. He should have. <laughs> that was a mistake. And my last pick, I go for Domino. He can still Guardian the hell out of it, but, uh, it'll make him think a little bit, and I can also use her on offense for Nick Fury if I need to. Oh, I lied. Uh, fully just went Terex. Interesting. Maybe I'd, I, I guess I was a little bit too scared of the Guardian. Um,. It's been a little bit since I did this, so I might need to have a little bit of a refresher. And then here he places Guardian on defense. That I do remember. And so, I think I do a man thing. Um, Doctor Doom. Okay, so he's going to Archangel this. And I know that, and that's okay. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go Hulkling or Torch. Torch was a hell of a lot slower, but uh, Hulkling was a much better defender. So I end up going Torch. This energy resistance is very high, and I'm definitely going to end up basically only doing damage through power stings, which is unfortunate. So you'll see that I really don't do that much damage. You're probably accustomed to seeing Torch absolutely melting people. And uh, he doesn't do that versus 80% energy resistance, or 70%, or whatever this is. So Yeah. You can see there's absolutely no damage whatsoever being done. Block the special one for Smolder. I, I usually block special ones for Smolders when they're energy and they don't hit hard. But I quickly stopped doing that when I realized that Smolders aren't really going to help my damage all that much. It's mostly just about power stings. Do I block this one? I dex it, yeah. So, like, really, if you look at the amount of damage that my specials are doing, it's not a lot. So, I mean, look. I'm not my specials that my uh, basic hits are doing. Like, it's 60, 70. Like, it's not a lot and Smolder's not going to help that. There, I tried to to block the first set, and then I tried to dex out at the last minute and uh, got hit in the face. So this is just a terrible fight. It really doesn't matter how well I play this fight. I'm not going to win. Um, <laughs> but definitely not playing well here. So, yeah. Fight's almost down. This was kind of a throw match, which means that I probably should have just like, fully thrown it and kept my torch. I don't recall necessarily needing Torch in, other, in any other rounds, though, so... Not necessarily the worst play to just give myself a fighting chance if he somehow messes up. But yeah, easy fight for him. 
I haven't necessarily seen that fight yet, but I mean, by the looks of it, a pretty darn clean fight. Um, so, well done there. Um, and yeah, so now here we go to round two. I feel pretty good about my chances of winning the first two. I'm the last two, otherwise I would not have put myself in this scenario where I needed to. Um, so, Hulkling is my killer. I probably should have placed Hulkling first because he was better. Instead, I to make the swing match the third match, but here I made it the second match, which is the mistake. If you have a choice about which match is going to be harder, make it the second match so that you have more information going into your harder match. It's not that it's easier to win one in second or third spot just by itself, but giving yourself more information to play off of is generally a very good idea. So I've massacred this fight many times. It's very, very easy. Um, you just hit in the block, you ramp all the way up, then you throw a special one, throw a special two, and that should be like 53,000 points. Um, you're going to quickly see that that's not the case here. I have some very intriguing RNG. Um, you can see that he immediately nullifies that, which is just thank you, man thing. Then I accidentally hit, I dex again, so it's fine. Nullifies my second one. Again, thank you, man thing. So yeah, some disgusting amounts of power for absolutely no reason. I've literally never had worse RNG versus man thing using Massacre. But now I just have to nuke him down. I decided to go the safe route and throw a special one. I probably could have just done special two, but I wanted to go safe so that he wouldn't nullify my pustules as easily because I had disorient, so I thought that it was the smarter play. That being said, he fully still nullifies my pustule. Th well, again, I keep saying this a lot, but thank you, man thing. Just absolutely ridiculous RNG here. Like, there's really not much that can be said. I played this fight almost perfectly, at least in my opinion, and um, it just didn't matter. But special two hits for, like, 90-some K, like 95K, and I get the fight down. But at this point, that's an easy win for him. Um, as long as he finishes the fight, like, he's kind of chilling. <laughs> If he finishes the fight at like 90%, he's pretty much golden, as long as, you know, he kills it fairly soon. Um, so I'm really just watching this timer because there's like a, a break point where he can no longer win the fight, and that comes with around, I don't even know, it's like one minute, 20 seconds or something, um, just randomly guessing. If it's near the one minute 30s, even with full health, he probably will lose. And it's getting near that time. Um, and so, yeah, I end up winning. Um, yeah, as you can see, even if he had his entirety of his health bar, he still would have barely lost. So, yeah, around 1 minute 30 um, was the spot, and he hit that. And I had a feeling about that I was going to win, and I ended up winning at the very end. So, um, definitely strategically the wrong choice there to, to put that match in the second round. Um, but I got lucky that he messed up and uh, came away with the W. Here he places Killmonger. Um, I can either use Terax or Hulkling for Killmonger. Oh, he doesn't place Killmonger. He goes with Nick Fury. Yes, 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 I remember that. Um, he should have placed Killmonger <laughs> because I can Ultron this. And if you know anything about me, you'll know that anything that can be Ultron, I generally Ultron um, because I like him and he's really good. So, um, yeah, this is easily one of the better Ultron fights I've ever done. Uh, it's very, very, I, I did it very cleanly, at least to my recollection. I'm not sure if it's actually true. Um, I remember that I did this very cleanly, so I guess we'll find out. But, um, yeah, so pretty standard so far. Just trying to make sure he doesn't throw specials. There he's over, so it's fine. Over meaning, um, over two bars of power. Okay, I get a heavy counter, and I can also go for a combo. And what that heavy counter does because of his power is it allows my special two to push him. So not only do I get a special two off, he gets a uh, SP two, which means that I don't have to deal with the special one, and he's probably going to throw it and give me a free opening, which he does. So, yeah. Um, that went well. End up pushing him back over um, on his unblockable phase, which is perfect. And the fight's going very well. So now I just want to get off a heavy and SP two, and that's probably wraps for the fight. So I get that evade, which is always nice. Bait out the special two. And so here I do a medium medium. So I can do a heavy combo into L2. This is gonna push him over. And yeah, that's the fight. So very clean, um, 64 second fight. So not perfect, but honestly pretty darn good. I'm very happy with how it went. Um, just out damaging Nick Fury pretty much. And the second that that fight finishes, I know for a fact that I've won, because he's going to take more than 4.5% damage. 
And if he doesn't, that means he's playing no touch, which means that he's likely backing off, giving him tons of charges, all these fun things. And so, yeah. If you give it, I think it's like five seconds. Yeah. After six seconds, uh, it was impossible for him to win, I think. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. So I, I knew I had this one once I finished that fight and he wasn't done, which I knew he wouldn't be. It's a really hard fight to do, Hercules versus uh, Hulkling. Uh, I knew I had the first round. So, um, I also had the advantage in this. I was the higher seed, which means that I invited first. Um, so this next round, even if I lose, I go into the tie break with an advantage. Um, it's a huge mental edge to know that you don't need to win and that if you, um, lose, not only do you still have a chance to finally win, but you have a better chance than your opponent does because I'm going to go in with an advantage in the third round. Um, so here... We have the second match that we do. It's time for him to invite me. I don't know if I... Do I like text him to invite me or just wait? Uh, but yeah, he's going to invite me, and then we can get our second match underway. There we go. Okay. I don't know if I go with the same bands. Um, let me see. Okay, here is his deck. Same one as before, as literally mandated, so not a surprise. I banned the two, those two because I don't really have options for those. I uh, was debating between Quicksilver, Guardian, Eye Bomb, and Scorpion, but ended up just going Scorpion again, I think. Oh, maybe I went. Yeah, no, I went Scorpion. I mean, Rinch was OP, though. Like, he's just so good. Anyway, he bans my Massacre, which I thought was hilarious because I've done some really, really, really good fights with Massacre where I'm like, wow. They're probably going to ban him again. That was not one of them. I did that fight in 50 seconds, true, but, like, I took a ton of damage. I'm honestly very surprised he banned them. Uh, so here, I was debating between the top three people. Actually, and Bishop. I had, I had some really good options. Um, actually, I, don't, I wasn't doing here. It was uh, any of the three six-star rank three mutants that I was kind of considering. Um, so I ended up taking Bishop just because he's a little bit better for attack. Not Well, not necessarily. He's more... He has a better niche than Domino does, because Domino is just damage. Here, I can take Ghost for both Domino and Rintra, because Ghost absolutely destroys Rintra. Um, and uh, if it comes to that, uh, we can take care of it, and it should be very easy. There he gets Mephisto, which made me kind of wish I drafted Torch. Um, a little bit unfortunate there. But I believe he goes Mojo, I want to say. I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was like Mojo. Yeah. So he went Mojo, and I was kind of confused there. There's no reason not to pick Torch. So here I'm going to pick Hercules, and it's a no-brainer. And then I can go for... I'm considering Mephisto or Doom. I end up going Mephisto because Mephisto only has two good counters. Um, or two really, really insane counters. That's Torch and Kitty Pride. I mean, Spider-Ham works very well, too. Red Hulk works good. And, um, yeah. So then here, he puts, he has this set of champions, and, I mean, I-Bomb kind of gives me troubles, because then I don't have a wrench for counter, or I don't have an I-Bomb counter, it's one of the two. But he doesn't pick I-Bomb. If he had picked I-Bomb there, um, it would have been really, really an imbalanced draft for me, and I would have been set up for a very bad position. But currently, I really like the position where I'm at. I place Mephisto, and I assume he's probably going to, like, kingpin it or something. Um... I assume he was going to kingpin. I have Hercules this fight in war, and Hercules was always my plan for this Quicksilver. Um, I can fully ghost this, but A, I'm terrible, and I'll probably get hit in the face. And B, I want ghost for other fights. Um, so yeah, here's how you fight Quicksilver with Hercules, or with a lot of different champions. Essentially, what you need to know is that when you evade, uh, when you intercept, he will evade, and then it'll go on cooldown. When you punish a stun, he will evade, and it'll go on cooldown. Kind of like that, uh, that king boss. So any reasonable opening that's not like a heavy counter, <laughs> he'll pretty much evade. So there we get the evade. It's going to disorient me, which is fine. I just prefer not to block. So naturally, I get hit and block. Um, get a ricochet intercept. Get another little backdraft. Special one. And now my crit's up, which is good. I'm at max health, but uh, that whiplash is about to detonate and do a little bit of damage. I block that special. All right. Now I want to just get evaded again. Now I can hit an actual intercept and not get punished. Special one. Just for 
spacing, damage, and all that stuff. I dexed the first hit on uh, reaction, kind of, and out of habit. Probably shouldn't have, but I got it down. He gives me a slow, and that's a ton of, like, willpower healing. Like, even if I'm taking tons of hits in a block, like, that's a lot of willpower healing. So I do a little sidestep because, you know, he's a double medium champion, which means free sidesteps. Huh, I wonder if that sidestep counts as an evade. It might, I mean, as an intercept, it might not. If it doesn't, then I think you can get openings that way. I'm going to test that. Um, but, yeah, Hercules versus Quicksilver ends the full yellow bar. Very clean. Second, I'm done. Once again, it's an instant win. Um, and he ends up taking the fight down pretty darn fast. I was pretty impressed with that, but uh, not fast enough. So now I just have to win one more fight. I My dream is that he places Hulkling um, because he doesn't know that I can Tiger it. That being said, he banned my Tiger first round, so I assume that he thinks I'm decent with Tiger. Um, so not really sure of exactly what he's going to do. Mojo is the one that I don't want to see. Um, but I presume he's going to place Mojo, and he does end up placing Mojo. And so what I do is I throw the round. <laughs> I drop Havoc, knowing that he's going to either Hercules or Hulkling it and absolutely disrespect my champions. There's Hulkling. And um, I just want to burn an attacker, so whatever attacker is the least useful to me. And once he's placed Hulkling, that becomes Tigra. So I Tiger this Mojo. Um, would I suggest this matchup ever? No. Would I suggest it with a 5-star? Absolutely not. Um, that's why it's a throw round. And spoiler alert, I don't necessarily play all that great either. Um, but it's okay. I don't. Not only do I not need to win this one, I expect to lose it, and that's part of not my plan. But I am planning in terms of expecting to lose this, and so I feel really good about my options in the third, the third fight. So. Um, here we go, bait out that special attack, wanna block it, I can sidestep that and heavy counter, beautiful. Honestly, special dude could kinda chunk, but I'm not really gonna get all that many, uh, ruptures. <laughs> Charge a heavy, which is like, not what you want with Tigra. <laughs> so I throw that special. It does very solid damage. Um, get caught in a dash back because, why not? He gets a special too. So I've hit the decks now, use a special attack is also gonna, you know, so my senses fall off. Um, not a good tiger fight. Or just not a good fight. Not just not a good tiger fight. Um, so here I just have to hope he doesn't get a hater, so I just have to hope that he doesn't get something bad. Ooh, I missed a parry there, which could have really screwed me. Um, doesn't throw a heavy, thankfully. And I just need to wait this out. If he does that heavy attack prompt, I'm gonna get a hater, and it's going to immediately kill me. Oh, I do a heavy myself. Holy goodness gracious. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but anyway. Um, wasn't gonna win that anyway, if you can look at that, but... <sighs> Man, looking back on that fight, I certainly did not play great. Um, yeah, so I need to either win this or I need to win the next round in terms of the next uh, match. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of winning here. Uh, if he places Rintra, I'll ghost it in like 50 seconds. If he places Herc, honestly, the best option for him, play, is for him to place Hercules. But he's going to want to Hercules my bishop. And so... He places Domino. I wasn't sure who to use Ghost or Ultron. Ghost is safer, but Ultron is faster. Ended up going with Ultron because I trust myself to play well. Um, yeah, Ultron's definitely the better option if you play perfectly. Um, so I guess I just have to hope that I play, if not perfectly, very well. So yeah, rank 4, Sig 200 Ultron versus the rank 4, Sig 200 Domino. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So I generally don't want to parry in this fight. Every once in a while I do because I just don't necessarily care all that much um but you want to parry a couple times at least for armors and then after that you're kind of good so yeah she heavies i was trying to sidestep her but she just wanted to heavy instead not really sure why here we go i get the evade which is also nice i fully could have just sidestepped there but the evade would allow me an extra degen on a on a um heavy attack so i want to go for that here i just drop a heavy into a sidestep special two or co sidestep combo special two and yeah, she gets chunked. That's a very large portion of her health down. If she can throw this special attack, I'm going to be golden. I do a little sidestep and tap her a couple times because I want to make sure I get a little bit out of my cauterize. She doesn't get lucky, which is huge. Another combo. She's almost down. Dex that, punish it, and she's down. And that's pretty much an auto win. He played very well and played it very, very fast. Um, but I end up getting that win. And I was very, very happy with that uh, performance that I did. So I end up uh, winning this series 2-0. GG's to my opponent, um, played very well and had some, some very solid drafts, especially in certain places, um, but 
I don't know, just a really, really fun one, and I'm on to the fourth round where I'm going to be facing Clash of Clowns. So, uh, yeah, that is the round three of the tournament. Thank you so much for watching.